Hello, I'm Austin Timmy. Today I'm going to show you the proper way of capturing an image using a 16 millimeter film camera. Today I am using a Bolex reflex camera, which are still widely used today to shoot on 16 millimeter film. They um, are most popular in the avant-garde and experimental film. So the first step in achieving a well-composed image on film is picking the correct film stock. The speed of the film is determined by how fast it reacts to light. Indoor film, or 200 speed, is a faster stock than outdoor film because the outdoor film is balanced for daylight. This means we are going to want to go with a faster speed since we are indoors. This is important for later when we are dealing with the light meter. Now, once you have the correct film stock, you can begin the process of loading the film. When loading film, you need to go to a dark room with very little light to eliminate exposing the film. Since I'm using a previously exposed film stock, we don't need to worry about that. First, you need to wind the camera. This is how the camera is powered, so to speak, since there are no electrical components to the Bolex reflex. So, you need to get a wind so you can thread the film later. Then, you're going to open it up. There will be a empty reel left over from the last user. Take that out. Get your film stock out. All right. Now, once you have placed your film on the top reel, you're going to go ahead and need to trim the beginning of the film. This ensures that it will thread smoothly when you load the camera. Next, you're going to need to make sure that these, these loops are closed, again, to ensure that it's, it threads smoothly. Now, you're going to need to take the film and insert it in this slot right here, right below the top reel. Once you've done so, engage the motor. And it should come out the bottom like that if everything goes smoothly. Now you're going to take your take-up reel and attach the film <coughs> into, there's a little slot in the center of these. Slide it in there. Give it a little wind up to make sure that it doesn't come off when you're shooting. And snap it into place. It's always a good idea to go ahead and run it a little bit to make sure that things are running smoothly and also to keep these loops open. All right, looks like everything's in working order. I'm going to close the camera back up. And to recap on how to load this camera, first you're going to wind the camera to give it power, load the top reel into place, trim the films to make sure it threads smoothly, go ahead and close those loops back up, insert the film into the slot, Engage the motor to thread the film, and open the loops back up, close the camera, and you're ready to shoot. Now we are going to actually capture an image using the film that we have just loaded. First, you're going to need to check your light meter. Earlier, I was talking about the film stock speed, and that's important now because we're going to take this speed, and there's an inner dial, very small, and you're going to use this to set it to 200, which is our indoor speed. And now we're going to go over to our scene and take our reading to get our foot candles so we'll know what f-stop to get. This is a reflective light meter, so we're going to need to put it right in front of the subject to get the light that's reflecting off of him back to the camera. Once you've done this, you can go ahead and use the outer wheel to get your f-stop reading to correspond it with the f-stop reading, or the, I'm sorry, the foot candle reading, and that will give you your f-stop. Now this f-stop reading is what we're going to translate onto our actual lens of the camera. The inner wheel closest to the camera will give you is your aperture, and you can set your f-stop reading there. Now, you just have to simply look through your camera viewfinder, which is this top one on this side, look through there, point it at your subject, adjust your focal distance 
to make sure that our subject is in focus. Engage the motor on the front of the camera. And that's how you capture an image. To recap, set your film speed on the light meter. Get your light meter reading in foot candles. Adjust the needle to the corresponding foot candle mark, which gives you your f-stop reading. Set that on your lens. Look through the viewfinder to adjust your focus. Then engage the motor to capture your image. That is the basic process of capturing an image using 16 millimeter film. I hope you will take your newfound knowledge today and go make some films. Happy shooting.